Hey y'all, so today we're going to be making the spring door sign. So I'm starting off using Waverly Chalk Paints Moss Green. And we're just going to paint over this round with that completely. And this is a 15 inch wooden round that I got from Walmart. So I'm going to set that aside and let that dry for a bit. And we're going to start painting our little bunny. So I cut this out using my jigsaw and I'm just going to paint it using Waverly Chalk Paints Plaster White. So I start off painting the entire bunny white. And then I'm going to go in just to make it a little rustic and add in a little bit of brown around the edges. And then I'm just going to take a piece of cloth and smear that in and that'll give it a nice antique rustic look. And then I'll also use a piece of my sandpaper just to go around the edges as well to give it even more of a rustic look. So I always like to do rustic style decor but you can just do solid white if you don't like the rustic style. So I'm adding this little ribbon around my bunny and I got this ribbon off of Amazon. I will link that down below for you guys. We're just going to tie it kind of like a scarf and then I do have it folded over because it's a little too wide so I'm just going to glue those edges together so that it will hold and I do add a little dab of glue on the bunny just to hold the ribbon in place. So for the bunny tail we're actually using bunny tail floral. So I got this off of Amazon. I will link that down below for you guys. It comes in white and tan so I'm using white here and I'm just adding a little bit of glue and then just gluing those onto the tail of the bunny. So I start off just adding the three and then just to achieve the fluffy bunny tail look, I add another one right on top of that so you can't see that it's divided into separate pieces. So I did add a piece of twine to wrap around the bunny tail just to kind of outline it. This is optional. It didn't really make a huge difference on how it looked, but I just felt like it needed something to cover the tips of the bunny tails. Next we're going to add the floral. So I got this from Dollar General. It's a really pretty pastel green. So I thought that went really well with this sign, even though it's a lot of like neutral tones going on here. It's a lot of green going on here, but I think it looks really pretty all together and just gives it that nice soft spring look. So originally with this sign, y'all, I was trying to do like a little picket fence with these little wooden popsicle sticks, but I could not get the design together right to where I liked it. So I ended up scrapping this idea, but I'm just showing this to y'all in case it sparks another idea for you, or maybe if you can give me some input on what you think I could do with these. So I was thinking of doing like the little picket fence and then having my bunny in the center of it. And that's how the sign was going to be with like no text or anything, but I just couldn't get it to look right. So I just said, never mind with that. We're just going to do something else. So I'm not really good at making bows, so I did not show how I made this bow, but I just scrunched it all together to make this cute little ribbon. Now it turned out really well, but y'all, it's hit or miss with me when it comes to ribbons, so I don't usually do tutorials on those because I'm not very good at making ribbons. So I'm just attaching my bow using my staple gun, and then we're going to add our little bunny to our sign. So I'm using the popsicle sticks to kind of give it a little raised look off of the sign. So I'm attaching those first and then I'm going to attach my bunny onto those popsicle sticks. And for the glue that I use for my hot glue gun, I use a super bond so it holds really well. So next we're going to add the text onto the sign. So I cut the stencil using my Cricut Explore Air 2. So I'm just pressing that onto the sign and then usually once I've lifted off the transfer tape, I go back over it again with my finger just to be sure there's no pieces that lifted when I remove the transfer tape. So I'm using Waverly Chalk Paints Plaster White to paint the words onto the sign. Now I do get asked a lot how I keep it from bleeding under the stencil. So I use permanent vinyl for my stencil and then the Waverly Chalk Paint does really well at not bleeding through the stencil because it's more thick than regular acrylic paint where it's a little more watery. And then just not being too heavy on your paint. So I just do like a thinner layer of first and then I go back over with the second coat. So I felt like this was a little too bland. So I ended up adding a little extra like little designs around the edges of the words. So I ended up just doodling something on with my paint pens just to add a little something extra to the text. I will link these paint pens down below because I do end up adding a little border around my wording as well. That made it stick out a little more and just added a little more design to it. So I was just kind of feeling my way through this. I started off just doing the little black dots around the wording, but I felt like it still needed something else. So I ended up going back and adding some white dots in between the black dots just to make it pop a little more. And y'all, I still felt like it needed something else. It was still a little too bland for me. So I added some more dots around the border of the sign because I felt like it was just kind of bare. If I showed the sign like face on, y'all would know what I'm talking about. So I just added more of those to give it a little more of a look to it and then put some black dots in between those white dots to go along with the welcome. So overall, I think the sign turned out really cute. It was a big hit on Facebook. So I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and I will see y'all on the next video.